I'm here with Linda Montgomery, VP of Corporate Development for Xena Tech, ticker symbol Z-E-N-A. Nice to see you, Linda. How's it going? <laughs> nice to see you too. Yeah. Hello. I'm excited to dive into all of this. Let's first get just an overview of Xena Tech. What do you all do? Sure. Well, we are an enterprise SaaS software company that designs and manufactures drones. So we have a uh, recurring software, sorry, recurring revenue from our, our software customers. And uh, we are just at that stage where we've gone, gone through various uh, prototypes of our drones. We're just going to start to uh, manufacture them uh, at, at scale. So uh, we have uh, two main drones, um, a large one, seven by uh, seven feet by, by 12 feet, uh, commercial applications, military applications. And then we have uh, the IQ series of smaller drones and the, they start at 10 inches by 10 inches and, and uh, 20 inches by 20 inches. It's just like a square. Um, and, and that's used for inventory management inside warehouses. It's an indoor drone. And then we have a version of that that's 41 inches by 41 inches. And that's our IQ square that's used for land surveys and other line of sight uh, outdoor um, applications. And so uh, we we just went public as of October 1st of last year, so uh, by a direct listing. And so we're in the process of, of uh, getting the word out as to who we are and what we do to investors. Well, it's really exciting stuff. You have AI drones. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's really smart that taking inventory in the warehouses saves a lot of time. I'm sure it's incredibly accurate. Something that I think really sticks out too that you offer that I feel like you there's not a lot out there, the drone as a service. Can you kind of break this down? Yeah. So that's a very, very important area that we are growing right now. So step one is we're acquiring land survey companies. So we're combining our drones with the process of land surveys. We're acquiring land survey engineering companies and um, uh taking the precision and the speed of, of, of drones to innovate land surveys. Now, that's being done already, but uh, I guess what's different about what we're doing is we're, we have um, visions of doing this at scale. So we, um, we've acquired four land survey companies so far, and we've got uh, about 20 in our, in our pipeline, and we, uh, we want to do this right across the U.S., and uh, and that's kind of step one to what we where we really want to get to, which is drone as a service. Um, we we feel as well as land surveys that there's also you know, power washing. There's there's a uh, um, high um, um, power line inspections. There's agriculture applications. There's so many applications for drones that can really improves the efficiency and uh, uh, of of so many you know, legacy processes and in legacy businesses that uh, what we what we'd like to do is uh, be able to offer those in, uh, in in a way that a customer can really easily access kind of an uber like uh, you you know subscription service pay per use uh, so you don't have to buy the hardware the software at specialized software and different sensors depending on the application um, we're going to provide all that we're going to provide the pilots We've got the FAA regulations um, uh, that go with that. So we're just, we want to make um, drone use um, more easier and, and, and more ubiquitous. So that's the vision around drone as a service. I think that's brilliant. I see a use for that. I mean, so, yeah. you know, you get a drone, but there's a lot that goes into it. You need a drone pilot. So I think that's a really smart addition and not a lot of other people are doing that, which is incredible. You're, you know, this is where you're at right now. Where do you kind of see the trajectory the next couple of years? Right. Well, we're certainly focused on drone as a service and acquiring more land survey companies. Um, and uh, so that that's revenue creative and that's uh, a big part of what we're focused on um, right now and this year. Uh, and then our warehouse drone, we're currently piling, um, doing a paid uh, trial of that with a um, multinational auto parts manufacturer. So we feel that there are other customers, other small and medium sized warehouses that can, that uh, we'd like to target that, that um, are interested uh, in, in, in that solution. So that's a, a focus for us. Um, and then probably a, a longer time frame, but really important as well is the military. Uh, and specifically we 
uh, we we have solutions that we'd like to sell to uh, the Department of Defense. And so we have to go through the green UAS and blue UAS certifications for that. That's really just to get on the, the uh, be a preferred vendor for the, the, the U.S. military. So we're focused on getting through those processes. And all of our drone, our drones, the components, the parts, they all have to be what's called NDAA compliant. So we're already focused on making sure that happens. We we have a um, a Taiwan uh, company that we own that is uh, going to be developing these components and parts for us. Um, our drones get manufactured in UAE uh, right now, and um, and then for but for the military, of course, we're going to be uh, manufacturing those drones in Arizona. And in fact, uh, in view of the recent uh, recent. Uh, news about tariffs we've actually moved that forward and mm. we are going to we are going to uh expand our 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 manufacturing facility in in arizona like starting starting very shortly uh to be able to produce our drones for our u.s customers our commercial customers um, in arizona ah. yeah but uh, certainly the we believe um those contracts are going to be you know pretty large hopefully large <laughs> contracts, but uh, it's going to take a longer period for us to get there and uh, to go through the, the process of getting those certifications. Yeah. Well, a lot of exciting stuff here. Linda, thank you so much for stopping by and telling me all about Xenotech. Thank you.